everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Popo from Eden here, and today I am playing some more BT6 Bloons Tower Defense 6. So, did a video on this a couple days ago. I'm currently waiting for the Cookie Run Kingdom update to come out. I was gonna do a video on that game today, but in the past two days of me recording this, they've been releasing uh, cookie trailers for the new story update for Cookie Run Kingdom, so I'm waiting for that. Hopefully, that'll be up in the next days. If it comes out tomorrow, then this video will be delayed, so. This video will come out at some point, it depends if that update's coming out, because I want to wait for the update, but this time they haven't actually given us a release date yet, so I sort of just have to wait for the update to come out. But anyways, I'm doing my favorite towers challenge, because you know what, I was trying to think of something to do and I decided, uh, it's been a while, let's, let's try out my favorite towers. So I'm going to be using my favorite towers from each category, the only- Okay, so I'm- my hero- I'm going to edit this for a second. So it's just chimps mode, I'm doing it on Candy Falls, because Candy Falls is awesome, because Candy. I'm unsure about these towers. I put them here for now as the basis, but I'm not sure if these are the ones I'm necessarily going to use. Um, I mean, I like Hero. Like, Azili is one of my favorite heroes. I'm probably going to keep Azili there. Though so actually, I'm going to put in Sai. I like Sai. I'm going to use Sai as the hero. <laughs> as you can see, these are not necessarily... Uh, very official as my favorite towers because I just switched them out easily. I think I'm gonna keep tax shooter because the primary towers I don't like very much. I'm picking my favorite from each category in case you can't tell. Also, it's crazy how many heroes are. There aren't number any category now with the little nutty. 13 heroes, there's only like 20 something towers. It's a, it's a little crazy. Um, but anyways, in terms of military, I do like submarine. I think I'll probably stick with that. Only one is magic. Magic and support I'm unsure about. Like, I do like Village, but Magic? Do I pick Wizards? See, like, all the Magic Towers are really cool. Um, I'm gonna say Super Monkey. I'm gonna use Super Monkey because I heard that there was a new, um, it's like Tech Terror upgrade. It has a new, like, upgrade. They have, like, Crit Chance now, which is cool. So, I'm gonna use these as my towers. I think these probably are my favorite towers. I like using these towers a lot. Oh, right. Um, I forgot that we were playing Chimps. So Chimps, in case you don't know, is a challenge in this game where you have a lot of no continues, um, no hero, no, not no heroes, what does it stand for? Continues, um, I think it's hearts, like lives, uh, insta monkeys, monkey knowledge, powers, and what is S, man, this is not gonna go well. What is the S stand for? Selling, no selling. Okay, tax shooter cannot start on this map. That's disappointing. I, oh wait, can't, never mind. We can just get two of them. Or I could have upgraded them. That probably would have been a better idea. Also, I just realized I can sell for zero stars. You're not meant to be able to do that, but whatever. Do I actually want to start with tax shooter? Let me make a plan quickly. What do I want to go for? Like late game, what do I think is a good idea? I kind of want to go, I do want to go for some tech terrors with super monkey. Submarine, I think I want to go for like tech terrors and then attack zone. I think that's what I want. Tech terrors, attack zone, villages, and then subs probably more for support. Uh, but for starting off, I probably will still go submarine because I'm probably going to end up going reactor at some point. And going sub is not a bad idea because subs are a really powerful tower to start off with. Personally, I'd obviously prefer to get my hero set up early on because if you didn't know, heroes, um, uh, they gain XP the longer your character's alive. Really? Man, I'm not doing well with this. I just need to pick something and start with it. Sub there. That's what we're doing. I'm not going range. Um, maybe I go sub tax shooter. Sub tax shooter. Okay, sub tax start. That's what I'm going. Sub tax. So tax shooter, I'm gonna go in for tech terror. I guess I'll put my defense over on the right side. That is where a lot of the lanes are. Like, the thing is, this is a pretty easy map. And I'm not limited too, too badly. I have a couple towers, so hopefully this can actually work pretty well. Uh, I am gonna say, if you're watching this, you should, don't forget to like and subscribe. I say it a lot, but I mean it every single time I say it. You should. I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm doing, I'm having an okay day. I'm feeling this, I guess, early? I don't know. Uh, I don't know about you guys, if you guys ever find this, but I find that generally, the longer I don't need to wake up at a certain time, the more I wake up, or like, later. I just keep waking up later and later. I don't really like it. I, I like to be awake earlier, but uh, that's not exactly how it works. But I'm pretty good. I basically can tell myself while I'm going to bed. I'm like, okay, think, think, 
You want to wake up at this time. You want to wake up at this time. You want to wake up at this time. And then I wake up at that time. So Sai, if you didn't know, he one-shots balloons. He's a weird character. He's full map range. He picks a balloon to one-shot. The stronger the balloon, the longer it takes to one-shot it, essentially. And he levels up, obviously, like a normal hero does. He's okay. A lot of people don't like him very much. I just find he's really cool. I like having a full map range character. He's really cool. He works. Oh, I say he. Sorry. Sai is an... Um, Sai is a they. Sorry. I messed up the pronouns for a second. Sai is a they. Um, I believe they is non-binary, I think is what it is. But I think that's what Sai is, but I'm not quite sure. Sorry, Sai. I didn't mean to call you a boy. But yeah, he's pretty... They is pretty cool. Man, how many times am I gonna mess that up? Sai, I'm just gonna call you Sai because it's far, far easier for me. Okay, so in terms of towers, do I want to go... Like, what do I want to go for? I kind of feel like I want to just go for... Um... I'm gonna go, okay, so advanced until twin guns. I'm probably gonna try to go for, do I go reactor? I kind of do want to go for like a reactor, but I feel like I need a defense first. Do I go for super monkey? Uh, I mean, like I could try to get an early super monkey. Maybe I'll go, okay, I think I'm gonna go overdrive reactor and then I'll get my super monkey up. I think that's my plan. Overdrive reactor uh, and then super monkey. So I will need, wait, why do I have a hundred? I'm gonna ignore the lives thing. I just realized I messed this up. I can sell, which I'm not meant to be able to. And I also have 100 lives. I thought chips mode would auto correct that. It didn't. So here's the deal. If I leak a live, I'm still gonna call it a loss. Even though technically it's not a loss. Um, yeah, I forgot to do that. Sorry, I forgot that I have 100 lives. Because I didn't realize that earlier. But yeah, I'm, that's it. It's. Oh, do I want range? I can still technically change this. Do I want range, tax shooter? Nah, I'll go for this. I think this is still probably a good spot. If you didn't know, they changed tax zone and stuff, so tax zone doesn't have that big of a range increase anymore, so it's not as good. Oh, I just completely forgot. Size camo balloon protection, doesn't he? Level two, level one. Yeah, he can target hand balloons. Okay, so we don't actually need reactor quite yet. I can hold off just a little bit on that, but that's pretty cool. So yeah. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna save up for overdrive and then I'll probably go for reactor. I might get some motion support or able to start somewhere in between, but yeah. Probably gonna see you then because otherwise chimps can take a long time and it's more interesting to do the later round. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can survive a bit. Hopefully I'll get some money saved up and I'll see you then. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so never mind. I won't see you then because I need to panic drop a hot shot. Because I completely forgot. We're still okay, right? Because of this? Okay. Psy can't pop lead balloons until level 6. I thought Psy could pop lead balloons. That was not a good move. Now we have this hot shot here. So that's... That's cool. I mean... It's not a bad tower and hopefully it's okay. But... It's not very good. So I will be able to pop lead balloons soon. So we'll be okay in a little bit. Just... Just, just a little bit annoying that didn't work then, but whatever. Now I guess I'll still try to save up for overdrive, except I'm probably gonna get some urge and support. Well, actually, nah, I'll probably be fine. I was gonna save for M33, but because Sai has his range and advanced intel, the sub will be able to attack. So I think we'll be okay for M33, so I'm gonna start saving up again. Woo! I think I'll be able to afford the overdrive pretty soon though, so we should be okay. So we're going into round 40 a little bit. We're on round 39 currently. Uh, I was able to get my super monkey. I just went for the 301 for now for the summary. I could go for reactor, but I feel like I should go super monkey first up with the Moab. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go range first because I think that increases his pierce. So we'll go for super range and epic range. Hopefully we'll be good for the Moab. Overdrive does lots of damage and Psy can one shot the ceramics. Yeah, one shot at three of them. So pretty sure we're okay for that. So yeah, now I'm probably gonna go for reactor now just to be safe. And then I'm gonna keep upgrading super monkey to get for plasma blast. Um, we should be okay for a couple rounds. You really do make a lot of money between, like, now and round 50. So we'll probably be okay. Um, but, you know, we just gotta keep going. I think we're gonna be okay for now. Aside can one-shot ceramics, first Moabs don't come till round 50. So I think at the very least not till, like, round 49 will we really struggle at all. So I'm just gonna get Reactor now, get Laser Blast, save for Plasma, and then go for Robo Monkey. And then I think we'll probably be okay for a while. Going pretty well. After I get the first tech tear, I think I'll go for the tax zone after that. 
been really easy so far. I feel like I need to start talking a bit more now. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to save room for the late game, but I don't know. I mean, the early game's fun too, I guess. Uh, we have our Robo Monkey now, which is awesome. I don't- yeah, he can get crits now. Okay, I wasn't sure. So crits, I believe, make him do double damage, I think. Or is it 10 times damage? I don't know. I think it's double damage. He does more damage because of the crits. It's a buff he got in this update, so that's cool. I think- am I gonna save for the- what do I- I'm debating now. Do I save for the tech tier first? Or do I go for the tax zone? Tech tier or tax zone? Oh, you know what I should have done and I just realized I forgot to do? I should have gone discount. Well, that was stupid. That could have saved me a lot of money. And in fact, I can still go for primary training. Oh, right, because I can also go for primary expertise. Ooh, maybe I'll go one of each. Tech terror, uh, tax zone, primary expertise. In which case, I think I actually am going to go for the tech terror first. Yeah, I think I'm going to save for the tech terror now. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna check in if something looks a bit scary, like we actually get close to losing for a round, I'll check in then. Otherwise, I think we're probably gonna be fine for a while, just saving up money for the tax zone. Um, well, I guess I'll see you when we have enough money. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think in my mind, I'm contemplating time, as in, well, if I spend too much time in the round 50s, then I won't be able to talk for the 90s. And I'm realizing to myself, no, that's not really an issue. I don't want this video to be half an hour long for just one game, but it's okay if this video is fairly long. It's always a weird balance because, like, between videos being too long and too short and what you want to keep and what you don't, I personally, as I, you probably know because I mention it a ton, um, I like to keep most game footage because you're here for the game and me talking randomly, so that can happen at any point in time. Uh, but obviously, I also want you to... I still don't want the video to be boring. I want there to be things happening. Exciting things happening. So yeah. Yeah. We're doing okay. We have the reactor for this. Honestly, I don't think we really have an issue. Uh, 63 could be challenging. 63 could definitely be challenging. Um, yeah, okay. So I'll take a look probably. You'll probably see me again around 63. And then I think, yeah, cause 63 could be a bit challenging. So I, yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so that was really, really easy. Um, we're about to get taxed and we won't have it in time for this round, but we sort of demolished that, which was pretty nice. Uh, that's pretty cool. Honestly, this is going really well. And I've decided, I think I'm gonna talk for the rest of this. I gave time. We're on to round 63. I think I'm allowed to talk now, I think. I'm just looking at the recording time, assuming I've cut, like, five minutes off that, which I probably have. Um, it's only been like 10 something minutes, so I think we're good to talk for the rest of this. So yeah, how's it going? I don't know, I feel weird every time I say I'll see you then, it just seems odd. I mean, I guess I will see you then, but it's the middle second for you, but for me it's just me sitting in silence staring at the chocolate river flowing down. Anyways, uh, I really do love this map, it's just like, it's full of candy, what's better than a lot of candy? Also. I forgot to change my marbs from being old and, I don't know, weird looking. They're just like, they're gray and dark and sad. They're all sad looking. It's bothering me. So I'm going to save for Tech Tail now. Sai is now level 10, which is cool. We haven't even used the level 3 ability. It's just a stun. The level 10, I think, like, knocks Bloons back. Also, yeah, this, like, this is inspired by Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, but if you click on certain spots, these, like, minion people, not minion people, what am I thinking? The Oompa Loompas. Oompa Loompas come out, so that's cool. I also love how they have all the chocolate, like, bricks, and they all have M's on them. I don't know if that's referencing a keyboard, or if it's, like, referencing M&M's, or who knows what. It is a lot of candy, it's cool, it's awesome. And, yeah, I, I like it. Anyways, uh, this is going pretty good so far. I really don't think this will be that bad. For whatever reason, in my mind, I had the idea that this would be a difficult challenge, but this is a really easy map, so it's not that hard of a challenge. We have good towers here, so this was pretty easy, but I mean, that's okay. It's not a bad thing to have a pretty easy challenge, so yeah, it's going pretty okay. Uh, let me know in the comments, by the way, do you have any challenge suggestions for this game? Because this is the easy one. I did the two easy ones. I did the one based off the other game, and then my favorite towers, which is a fun one to do, which I now realize... I haven't actually done that in Bloom's Venture on Tower Defense, so... Yeah, that's probably gonna happen soon. Might might even be the next video. We'll see. I don't know. It honestly might be the next video. 
for Bloom's Nurse on Tower Defense. Totally could be me using my favorite towers. It's definitely possible. Uh, so yeah, that'll be exciting. Um, yeah, I still have to do that. But this has been a lot of fun. This is a good challenge. It's going pretty well. We're beating the rounds pretty quickly, which is nice. It's going by pretty fast. It's still bothering me that I have 100 lives, but... And that I can sell for zero dollars. I don't like it, but whatever. I love how they even show the powers menu, but if I press it, as you can see, you might be able to tell I'm doing it. Tone's like gray. Nothing happens. I just find that funny that it's even there then. Why would you put it there if we're not allowed to use it? I guess I technically could have gone Energizer to like increase XP for Psy, but that would have been real useless. This was a pretty easy challenge. There was lots of things I could have done. If I really wanted it to be an absolute joke, I could have gone for Sub Commander and just abolished literally everything because Sub Commander is broken. Uh, but I don't know. I wanted to use the Tech Terrors because people told me they were cool, and I like them. They're cool. They're actually powerful now. And I wanted to win, so I went Tax Zone. The one thing is, I'm gonna have to get, because Tax Zone doesn't have lead popping power, I'm gonna have to go for a mid uh, for around 90, probably, because I'm not really confident that the Tech Terror can beat it on its own. Or I guess maybe with the assistance of the uh, primary, not primary mentor. What's what's the upgrade called? Primary expertise, right. Almost forgot about that one, sorry. But yeah, it's going pretty well, being lots of fun. Uh, if we have extra money, I'll probably just go for a second tech terror after the primary expertise, but we'll see. I don't think we'll have that much extra money, because it's looking like we'll have our tech terror for like round 80-ish, and then we'll be fine moving on for the later rounds, so I mean like that, that works pretty well. That works pretty well as far as I'm concerned, but yeah, this is going pretty well so far. The only issues, yeah, probably would be DTs or maybe Bad Balloon. We don't necessarily have a ton of bad balloon damage, but I've heard that I'm a um, tax zone. Tax zone, I think, is pretty good. I don't think tech terrors are that great against the bad balloon, but we'll see. Anyway, speaking of which, we have ourselves a tech terror now. There are more crits, right? I'm not being weird. There are definitely more crits. I think so. Also, I believe Psy, level 13 seems lame, but level 14 starts being able to target Moabs and 16's BFBs. I don't think Psy's gonna reach level 20, but he will reach level 14 and 16. Which will make him real... No, I, sorry, not him. Which will make Psy real, real good. I probably messed it up like ten times. It's just the back of my mind. I don't even know why. It's just... He, it Psy's glowing blue. And for whatever reason... Actually, I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm There's no good reason. I'm messing it up because it's weird. Because none of the other towers... 90% of the towers in this game are either boys or like... Or attack zone or cannon and don't have gender. So... To me, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, I'm sure I've called cannons and tax zones he's before. Tax, tax shooters? I don't know. For whatever reason, I just assume boy. Well, no, not for whatever reason. I have a reason. It's because 90% of the towers in this game are boys. The only girl ones are ninja, and I think ice monkey? I think ice monkey's a girl, but I'm not quite sure. But I know ninja is, and a couple, more of the heroes are, but most of the monkeys aren't. And it's messing with me, and it's making me assume that Psy is a boy, but I know Psy is a they, even though I mess it up constantly. I do the same thing with Psy in different spelling, but I do the same thing with Psy in Bloom's Adventure and Tower Defense. I keep calling Psy a boy in that, and Psy is actually a girl. Not this Psy, other Psy. Psy with an S-A, not Psy with a P-S. It's weird, because they're both the same pronunciation. Zah. Anyways... This is the ZMG, it's still dark. You know what? Can I edit this? I think I can actually edit this and come back in. I'm tired of these towers. Yes, I can continue later. I need these balloons to be colorful. It's bothering me. Uh, inventory. I need cool balloons. Cool balloons. Cool balloons. Not old tiny balloons. Disable that. I want... Um... Hmm... I want sci-fi BFBs and I want chocolate Moabs. We're ready to go. Continue the challenge now. Sorry, I have a brief interruption to make things epic looking. Uh, but yeah, let's get back into this. Old timeys just look boring. I don't want old timey. I want sci-fi, candy, and I guess robots. Robots, sure. I don't know. I don't really care that much. Wait, how are we so close to primary expertise already? Whatever. And we went back to round 80. I thought we'd be in round 80. I guess we didn't. It's fine. Why are you so slow with your googly eyes? See, isn't this so much cooler, looking at a googly eyes EMG rather than 
Oh, I'm dark and gray and gloomy. I'm sad. My name's Eeyore. Seriously, the, it was boring me. It was bothering me. Now we have color because color is the best. Seriously, if you don't like colors, then nah, something's wrong. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people will say your favorite color is black. I don't really have an issue with that, except for the fact that I don't like it because I think your favorite color should be colorful. I also, I don't know. I, I don't like people that have like, oh, I like brown or something. You should like colorful things. I'm not telling you, I mean, I don't know. You can like whatever color you want, but to me, I feel like color's pretty good. It's, it's cool seeing blues, greens, reds, bright colors. They're nice, I like them. But I mean, I guess anyone can like whatever color they want. It's just personally, I don't like it when people say their favorite color is brown or black or white or, well, white's, white's better, but yeah. Or even gray, no, all of those. Gray, white, black, brown. I don't like it when people say those are their favorite colors. I understand a lot of people like those colors and they are cool. It's just, I don't really like when people say they're their favorite colors because I'd much rather them say something else, like purple. Sorry, I had to point at the suit monkey with his purple glasses, aka plasma vision goggles, uh, cause that's pretty epic. Also, primary expertise. This is going pretty well, I guess. Um, should I save for the mid, or do you think I'm fine for DTs? Like, I'm debating myself. We have a tech terror. We have the primary expertise. We have Psy, who can't pop them, but can do some helpful things. I don't know. I don't know what I was saying there. He can't pop them. That's just the end of it. I mean, I can just save up there. Maybe I should just save up to Ram 90 to see what we end up, to see what I need to do to, to win, I guess. Because, I mean, we're doing okay. We have the primary expertise. We have the tech terror. I feel like we should go for a mid, though, so uh, I'm gonna go for that. Mid time. Woo. I just put that outside of the range of like, quite a bit outside- whatever, this is so stupid. I put it outside of the range- you know what, sure, this is fine, whatever. It's definitely in range of it. It's whatever, it- it, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter that I add an extra village, because I'll find a use for it, you know what I'll do? I know what I'm gonna do. We have a discount village here. This one is also gonna be an extra discount village, it, it's worth. Maybe. I don't know if this actually makes sense. I think it does, realistically. <laughs> but mostly my brain is trying to think of an excuse for why I decided to place the village up here, outside of the range of the, um, well, of the attack zones. Because I didn't think something through, okay? I didn't think anything through. Seriously, Chocolate Moabs just fits the theme of this map so much better. It's a, it's appreciated. It's very nice. I feel like I should just use the tech tier ability because I haven't, and it's looking at me with its deep, dark red eyes, and Boop. That was different. Did they change the appearance of the tech terror ability? I'm pretty sure that was different. I'm convinced that was different. Also, do you like Super Monkey's pet bat? I just find the bat cool because it's wearing like the classic like Superman like red like tights or whatever and I kind of love it. I think it's really cool looking. Anyways, we have our discount now. Double discount. Woo! Double discount Super Monkey. You're going over here. Tech terror number two. It's gonna be awesome. We can all pop DVTs. It's gonna be great, I, I guess. I don't know. Sai, you can pop Moabs now, right? Yes, you're actually doing something useful. Wait, there you go. I was like, wait, why aren't you popping the Moabs? Do your job. So I guess this is a good test. Uh, the first DVTs, how doomed are we? Well, not doomed. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I expected that to go poorly. I just knew in my, somewhere in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, this is not gonna go well. Now the only real risk would be, well, 95 and 99 could still be bad, 98 could be bad. Okay, there's, there's still risks, uh, but I'm more nervous for the Babylon is the only thing I'm really nervous about now. But yeah, going pretty well. Gotta get our Robo Monkey, then our Super Monkey. Got our lead popping power, we can pop the DDTs. We'll be great. And then if anything actually makes it in range of the tech to, it just dies instantly. They're just like, bloop, 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 bloop. It's awesome. I also kind of love how size position, the like psychic ring around his brain or whatever, his head, it lines up well with the tech terror and it kind of looks like it's like a tech interface coming out of the tech terror's like gauntlets and I think that's cool. I don't know, more DDTs, they are still demolished. We're gonna get our extra Robo Monkey now, so we'll be even better against DDTs. Just 
second cannon gun. That's pretty cool. For whatever reason, in my mind, I came up with my own story, like, secondary story, where the Robo Monkeys and the Tech Terrors are, like, they're these bad guys. They're, like, the Super Monkeys are these, like, holy figures. You can be, like, a good sun avatar. You can be, like, a dark knight, which are, like, bounty hunters. And then the Tech Terrors were, like, criminals or whatever, trying to, like, I don't know. They were, like, the super villains. Maybe that's the point. Maybe the Tech Terrors are meant to be super villains. They do kind of look kind of villainy. But in my mind, the Tech Terrors are the super villains. The, um, like, the Dark Knights and Batman people are the, like, bounty hunters of the world. And then the Sun Avatars are these, like, holy superheroes, golden beings sent from the heavens to, like, protect the universe. And then also the Vengeful Sun God is pure evil. I forgot to mention that part. And also Adora is evil. I don't know why I came up with that story, but that was my mind. My mind was like, you know what the- you know who the Vengeful Sun God is, according to my opinion? Maybe you agree with this. In my opinion, the Vengeful Sun God is a dope monkey from BTD1 who transferred through dimensions for each BTD game he climbed further, kept learning more and more monkey knowledge until he used the monkey knowledge to turn himself into a super monkey and finally into the vengeful sun- vengeful true sun god. That's honestly my opinion of what I think the vengeful true sun god is. I think he was a dope monkey from BTD1 who traveled dimensions and became all powerful and all knowing. That was a weird tangent. It actually is. I don't know why, but in my mind, I keep thinking of a story. I just think more of a story about the story of BHD6. Because apparently, I think that's cool. And I remember thinking that all the fifth tier towers were, like, people from BHD5 that just, like, hop dimensions. Like, the reason the monkeys keep getting more powerful and the balloons keep getting more powerful is because certain balloons and monkeys are like, No, you can't erase me, game devs. I'm moving to the next game. I have no idea why that's in my mind. Uh, but anyways, I didn't even pay attention. We're on round 98 now, so I guess all those other challenging rounds, mm. who needs them? They were easy. Now we're moving on to round 98, and then 99, and then 100. We haven't used any abilities yet. This has been such a joke. Hey, we can one-shot be at bees now. That's cool. Good job, Sai. But yeah, this has been a bit of a joke, because it's been really, really easy. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Pop the... Uh, we're good, right? We're good, we're good, right? I just, like, I won't even use- I haven't even used Tech Terror ability and it's bothering me because it looks cool. That was actually a little bit closer, but they changed how the Tech Terror looks. Anyways, we have a giant spoopy skeleton as our bad balloon, who I now realize has a weird, like, purple crystal inside him. Cool, good job. He looks so stupid with the googly eyes. He's just like, Hi, my name's Mr. Skeleton. Can I be your friend? And then he puts a band-aid on him. I kind of love it. I love the Moab skins. They're like my favorite part of the game. I shouldn't have used that ability. That was really stupid. Uh, because it probably would have been a smarter idea to save that for the DTs. But it doesn't matter because we're fine anyways. I'm not continuing this. Why? Don't. You know what? Sure. I'm not going to buy anything else. We'll see how five more rounds we'll make. I'm convinced we'll lose soon. But I don't know. I guess I'll keep this going for a few more minutes. Sure. I'm not buying anything else though. I'm not using any abilities, uh, please, I'm kind of hoping the DTs will just kill me, which they did because we're down to 25 lives, which is a loss. We're probably going to fully lose anyways, cool. Yeah, that was my favorite tower's only challenge, it was really, really easy, it wasn't that hard. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, let me know, are these your favorite towers, is Sai your favorite hero, Taxi your favorite primary, and so on and so forth. Uh, these aren't my, like, final without a doubt. If I had, like, five more hours to think about it, I'd probably make some adjustments, but I do like these towers. They definitely are some of my favorite towers. Um, I'd say Psy probably is my favorite hero. So yeah, let me know your opinion. Hope you guys enjoy it. Leave some challenge ideas and pray with me that the Coherent Kingdom update will drop tomorrow so I will actually get to play it instead of keep pushing off Coherent Kingdom videos because I'm waiting for the update, but if the update takes two weeks, then I wish they just tell me now, except they aren't. So I'm hoping that means the update's coming out in like a day or two, even though that might not be the case. I'm gonna be really upset if they tell me the update's launching in like two weeks. If you see this video and it's like, hey, didn't you see the update's being launched in 1200 days? I'll be upset. But you know what? Last reminder, like video, subscribe, all that stuff. You'll have a couple seconds after this with the end cards to see, well, no, to give you enough time to like the video. But yeah, have a wonderful day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!